What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. And if you're not, thank you for coming back. I'm Becca and here on my channel, I cover all things fashion. I do a lot of hauls and I of course always give you my very honest review. For today's video, I have a Lululemon haul. These are all of my most recent purchases and we're just gonna get straight into the review because I have a lot of items to show you today. Before I get started, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and if you like my channel. And as always, I did link everything that I'm talking about in the description below so you can and click on the link and it will take you directly to website. Also, if you did not know, if you end up purchasing anything from the Lululemon website by clicking any of the links below, it actually supports me directly and I do receive a small commission from it. So just so you know, you are supporting me when you're making those purchases and it allows me to buy more Lululemon and give you guys my honest feedback on if these items are worth it or not and what are the must haves. All right, let's get into the haul. Starting with the scuba that I'm wearing right now, this is the oversized full zip scuba, and this is in the color army green. I purchased this in a size extra small small, and honestly, I have found that I like all of my oversized scubas in an extra small small. So I would recommend sticking with your true size unless you want it to be extra oversized. I've also washed and dried this, and it did shrink just a tiny bit in the sleeves, but it wasn't a big deal to wear the sleeves were too short and I regretted purchasing an extra small small so I would stick with your true size. This color has been in my cart for a while. I actually have this in the oversized scuba half zip, the funnel neck one, and I love it. And I really wanted to get the full zip version. I was a little concerned though, because if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that the funnel neck is my favorite and I'm not a huge fan of the hoods, but I decided to give this a try again. And I am so happy that I did. I've actually been wearing this like every single day for the past two weeks. I've washed it a few times, but I. I just grab it all the time because it's a really nice neutral color and it goes with everything whether I'm wearing jeans or leggings so yeah I actually am really happy I decided to get this I would say this scuba is perfectly oversized it's not super oversized I really like the length of it because it's more like a waist length on me I have found that this hood doesn't feel like it's pulling back and I'm not constantly adjusting my sweatshirt like going like this and pulling it up it actually lays really nice and flat and as long as I I make the hood like really long and lay it flat it doesn't pull back so maybe that's a little hack if you're having that issue adjust your hood to where it's flat so that way it's not all bunched up in the middle the scubas are really soft they are really soft on the outside and they are a fleece material on the inside I really like to wear these sweatshirts with basically everything you can dress them up or dress them down going into the spring I imagine I will have this as like a really light layering piece as a jacket because sometimes if you have a heavier jacket it's just too much and it's really nice to just throw on this sweatshirt. It pairs really nicely with high-waisted jeans or low-waisted jeans, with shorts, specifically the hotty hot shorts or track that shorts, or joggers or leggings. So yeah, I am very happy I got this and I decided to purchase it. I think I only have two full zips because I didn't think I love them that much and I preferred the funnel, but I really wanted to give this one a try and I'm so glad that I did. So yeah, I am a huge fan of this. Okay, moving on to the next scuba. I know we're going into spring and summer and you're probably like, Becca, what are you doing buying sweatshirts going into spring and summer? I needed these, okay? Especially this one and I'm honestly, I don't regret purchasing either one. So this is called the Scuba Full Zip Cropped Hoodie. This is in the color Dark Lavender gorgeous color. This is a new color that Lululemon has just started to introduce. Usually when they start to introduce a color, they don't launch a lot of items in the color. They just slowly start to launch new items each Tuesday. Okay, so let's talk about sizing. I did a lot of research before purchasing this and a lot of people were saying that this sweatshirt runs really small and to size up several sizes. I am usually a size four or six. I purchased this in a size 10 and honestly I am 100% happy with a size 10 and I think I would be happy with a size 12 as well. I would say if you want it to be like a tight fit where it's a cropped scuba where it's tight I would say size up at least one size but if you want it to fit a little bit looser you don't want it to be tight around your torso and you can see how it fits me if you want it to fit like that size up like 
two, three, four sizes because then it will fit like that. Okay, so now let's talk about the details. Now this is designed to be a cropped length and a classic fit, and it's definitely cropped. It's not the same length as any of the oversized scubas, so definitely keep that in mind. It's not going to be waist length or hip length. I would say this is definitely the most cropped scuba that I own, but again, since I sized up so many sizes, I don't think it's super cropped on me. I have seen reviews say that if they size up one size or stick with their true size, it's just too tight. And really, I think that's just because the sizing is off. This material is a blended light cotton fleece material. And honestly, this feels a little bit lighter than my other scubas. When you get this out of the package and you feel it, you're like, okay, it feels pretty similar, but it's not the same weight. I actually really like the weight of this because it feels a little bit thinner and the hood feels a lot lighter. So honestly, maybe this is the perfect scuba going into spring since it's a little bit of a lighter sweatshirt. You do have thumb holes, you have the hood, you have the Lululemon logo. The biggest complaint I have is it does not have pockets. As soon as I put this on, I wanted to put my hands in the pockets just like this one and it didn't have them. Then I was like, okay, really wish they had pockets. So if you're someone that really likes pockets, I would probably go for this one over the lavender one just because of that. As far as the overall fit, I am very happy with the fit of this sweatshirt. I love the color. I really like the sleeves because they're really nice and long and that's probably because I sized up like four sizes. And even when I zip it, it's not tight on me at all. I just don't like when sweatshirts are super tight on me. It just feels uncomfortable, especially when you sit down and they start to bunch up right here. I hate that. So I don't have that issue with that because I sized up so many sizes. So. I love the fit. I honestly love this sweatshirt. I am considering the light gray or the black one just because I feel like I will wear this a lot. This is just like a really nice like sweatshirt to throw on and go in between classes, go to the grocery store. So yeah, honestly, I'm a huge fan. I don't know which one I like more, honestly. I can't decide. I really can't decide. I would say it depends on what you like, but I would say it depends how I'm feeling that day. If I want something a little bit more oversized, I'm probably going to opt for this one. But if I want something a little bit tighter, then I will probably opt for this one. Both of them are great. I'm keeping both. Okay, moving on to the next item. This is another new arrival and I actually just got this in for the second time because I had to order a different size. This is called the Wonder Train Strappy Tank and this is in the color lip gloss and this is in a size four. As far as sizing recommendations go, I originally purchased this in a size six and it was too big. It was really big right here. I felt like when I bent down, there was a lot of extra fabric right here. The straps fit fine, but the overall body as well didn't just like, it didn't lay nice and flat and snug. It was just kind of loose and it gapped in areas. It just, I don't know, it just didn't look right. So honestly, I would stick with your true size in this tank top. This is designed for weightlifting, but honestly, I would not weightlift in this at all because of the thin straps. I actually prefer the Wonder Train tank top to weightlift in. I would honestly wear this more casually or I'd wear it for yoga and that's what I intend to wear it for or for hiking. It's made out of the quick drying Everlux material. It's really soft on the outside. I really like the material. It's nice and thick, but it's not like so thick where it feels really hot when you have it on. It does have a built-in shelf bra and it has padding, which I love. I really like the thin straps. I think they're really cute and they're not too tight. This is definitely a cropped length. I would say it's longer than a long line sports bra, but it's not like so long where it's like the Wonder Train tank top. This is designed for B and C cup sizes. I would say if you're a C cup, you would like this tank top, but I honestly feel like if you have a D cup or higher, you probably won't like the tank top. I'm not sure though. It may not have enough coverage. If you have this tank top and you have a D cup or higher, please let us know in the comments what your review is. Did you have to size up? Did it have great coverage? Are you happy with it? This is where the Lululemon logo is right here. And yeah, I actually really like this. I think it's really cute. I love the color lip gloss. This is another newer color and I really like this. I think I like this more than sonic pink i think it's just it looks better on my skin tone and with my hair but i yeah i would definitely recommend this i like this i think it's very comfortable it's not tight and it's not uncomfortable as long as you get the correct size so yeah i am a huge fan of it Moving on to the next item it is a pair of shorts these are called the track that high rise short these are five inches and in the color title teal i purchased these in a size six as far as sizing recommendations go i usually 
usually size up one size in all of my Lululemon shorts, but for some reason, these feel like they are two sizes too big. They don't feel like my other size sixes. So I'm actually going to return these and purchase my true size. And I don't know if that's because of the color or not, but these just feel a lot bigger than my other ones. And I have a lot of track that high rise shorts that are five inches and these just feel like a lot more material and they feel a little bit baggier. So in this color, I would say stick with your true size. I really like the track that high rise short in the five inch because I really like the rise. They are a true high rise and I also really like the length. They are that really lightweight swift material. So they're very breathable and they're very comfortable. They're also very versatile. I literally wear mine for everything. You can run in these, you can walk in them, you can wear them casually, you could wear them to the gym. They do have a draw cord right here. They have the built-in liner and they also have a little hidden pocket. These shorts are really nice quality too. Like I said, I have several. I wear them all the time. I wear them for literally everything. So that's why I have a lot of different colors and every time they come out with another color, I usually buy them just because I wear them so much. So yeah, I would definitely give these a try if you have not tried them yet. Moving on to the next item, it is another pair of shorts and these are called the Hottie Hot High Rise Shorts short two and a half inches and these are in a size six and in the color lip gloss again I'm not kidding when I say that I really like this color I really wanted a pair of shorts that were matching and they recently came out with these and the find your pace or they're calling them something else I can't remember oh fast and free shorts and I'm just not a huge fan of those shorts so I've given up on them and I grabbed these as far as sizing recommendations go I size up one size I'm happy with the size six so I would definitely size up at least one size I usually purchased the Hottie Hot short in the four inch inseam, but they did not have lip gloss available. So I decided to try the two and a half. And honestly, I really like them. I will say if you do not like short shorts, I would wait for the four inches because I imagine they will eventually come out with them. But I think that there's still enough coverage and I like them. I think they're cute. I really like the Hottie Hot high rise short because I like the rise. They're definitely not as high rise as the track that short that I just showed you. I would say they're more like of a mid rise on me. I really like to wear these for walks and I also like to run in these which is why I was fine purchasing a shorter inseam because sometimes it's easier to run with a shorter inseam. They do have a draw cord right here. You have the built-in liner. The material is the same as the track that short where it has that swift material and you have some mesh detailing right here and the built-in liner. As far as which short would I recommend, I would say it depends on your preferred length. I think that you could do anything and both of these shorts, but it really just depends if you like a longer short or a shorter short. Both of them are great. Both of them are still really nice quality. It just depends on what your preferred fit is. And the last two items that I have is actually the same exact item, just two different colors. And that is the All Yours Cropped Tee. And these are the two colors that I purchased. I purchased both of these in a size six and I'm happy with the size six. I would definitely size up one size at least just for length because I've tried this in a size four and it's just too cropped and I prefer a size six. If you want it to be a little bit longer, maybe even size up two sizes. It really just depends what you like. I really like wearing these shirts in the summer and going to and from classes or to yoga, to go on a walk, to go on a hike. So I wanted to pick these up just because I feel like they're always sold out. I've been trying to purchase the white one for a while, but it's always sold out. So maybe one day. This is designed to be a relaxed fit and cropped length. I will say if you do not like a super cropped top, I would definitely not opt for this. I would probably opt for a different top like the cotton blend t-shirt that's more of a relaxed hip length versus this one, which is a true cropped length. They are really lightweight. They are a really soft cotton material and they're just very, very simple. I just love wearing them to and from classes and like to the grocery store and stuff like that. They're just very comfortable, really cute and very, very soft. And they're also very breathable. And that includes everything that I have in this Lululemon haul. I always like to mention the two items that I would recommend purchasing first if you can only purchase two items. And I'm going to say first the purple scuba. And the second item that I'm going to recommend is definitely one of the shorts, especially going into the spring or summer. And as far as which one, it just really depends which one you like best as far as length goes. Thank you so much for joining me in this review. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I will see you in the next haul.